welcome to my channel and welcome to another uh, comic book haul video um now in the last comic book haul video uh, i mentioned i was going to be you know i was pushing my limits uh, my budget and that was going to be my last buy and that was um, quantum of woody uh, sets lots of valiance uh, basically but almost everything quantum of woody and uh, a fair bit of other val valiance right and during that video i mentioned that i was tracking um some golden age comics um, late golden age golden age early silver age comics uh, from another uh, seller and uh, what they mainly were were the love comics i've been sort of trying to buy uh, sort of love romance comics uh, especially from the golden age of comics because i showed you guys uh, some of the ones i've had and i mentioned that i didn't have very many and someone posted a comment that uh, um the romance comics had a huge huge role to play in the comic book medium and i you know did a little bit of research and they mentioned that hank williams actually a lot of his uh, music was based on uh, some of the romance comics that he used to have and i tracked down some documentary where he sent me a link and i looked at it and blew me away so i looked a little bit further into this and i found out that jack kirby had a huge part to play in it i believe uh so i've sort of been collecting i've been buying up romance comics love comics from the golden age silver age of uh, of the industry and they're uh, they're really reasonably priced uh, and so i've been i've been trying to get my hands as many as as, as i can and i ended up bidding um uh, buying some books from uh, a seller that i bought before and i've showed you guys a couple of uh, a couple of the comic book haul videos um uh, we did from the same from the same seller that i just got this package from and those were the sort of golden silver age and golden silver age, bronze age i guess uh, uh comic book haul videos we did where i was basically transitioning doing my move from uh, one location to another and i needed a break uh this was really fun getting the books and just surfing ebay and buying some stuff right so what i ended up doing is I placed my bid for some of the Golden Age uh, and Silver Age romance comics and ended up winning them. And the guy sort of has, uh, the seller has, you know, a lot of stuff listed. All of them basically 99 cents. Uh, some of them buy it now. A lot of them are auction, right? And um, just a quick note, if you've never been dived into the dollar bins at a comic book store i highly recommend diving into the dollar bins at a comic book store because um collectors do like hardcore collectors one of the things they do they have in their routine is they go to the dollar bins and you know look through the dollar bins right and i do that a fair bit i should be doing it more because i found some amazing deal at dollar bins and um, one thing you have to appreciate with comic books is price is not really an indicator of how good a comic book is so you know there might be uh certain comics that sell for a lot but they're selling them for a lot because of a maybe a key issue or a first appearance or a death or new artist new writer whatever it might be right so you're pre paying a premium for those comic books that have you know their key issues and whatnot in the dollar bins what you end up finding is you're getting you know you're getting stuff on the cheap for a dollar i mean right now comic books average price is anywhere between three to four dollars so you're paying anywhere between a quarter to a third of the price of new comic books and some of the comic books in the dollar bins are some of the best reads you're ever going to have they're they're amazing amazing comic book series and comic books uh, that you can buy complete runs of that are some of the best written best drawn comic books out there and they're extremely reasonably priced right so just just a quick little pointer if you've never gone to the dollar bins in comic book stores go into the dollar bins at comic book stores that's what some hardcore collectors do and some people that are new to the new to the comic book scene that you know when they pick up a comic book they don't know where to start so you know recommending people to go to the dollar bins and just sift through and pick out what they want is is not a bad idea right so what i ended up doing for this let me show you this, this comic book haul um 
I ended up buying a fair bit from the guy. So I blew my budget. I've blown my budget for a few months now, right? So I'm basically, I'm going to be um, cutting back on some of my pull lists, weekly pull lists as well, because I've, you know, gotten a fair bit and I'm not reading everything. So I'm going to reduce from that end. And I sort of justified buying these books uh, for that reason as well, right? And um, usually if you watch the previous comic book haul videos, you'll know that I sort of tally up what I've bought and what's come, how much the shipping and stuff like this. And I haven't done this with this book yet, but with this package yet, because there's more comics that I've bought that he couldn't fit into the box. And um, one of the reasons I started, you know, I bought a fair bit from him, I was just sort of treated like a dollar bin, diving into the dollar bin. Uh, but there were some comics in there that, you know, there was like three or four comics in there that were expensive. One that was uh, fairly expensive for, for my budget anyway. Uh, and uh, I'll show you, I think that one's in this one. But basically what happened was uh, I bought some of the books and he sort of sent me a message saying, I've maxed out his shipping expense, right? So I could buy as many books as I wanted to and he wouldn't charge me any extra shipping, which is a huge plus, especially if you're buying, uh, you know, you're, you're going with a, a budget kind of buy, right? With dollar bins and stuff like this. Uh, so I kept on buying some of the stuff, just it's pure random. There's a lot of, uh, some uh, romance comics in here, but a lot of the other stuff and some horror stuff, uh, but a lot of the other stuff is just randoms that I just picked up. Uh, either they look good or they're reader copies or or whatnot, right? So let me show you this. This is he sent me a short box, right? <laughs> totally taped up. And I like it when, when it's done like this, because you know, I got a comic book box out of it. And comic book boxes are pretty strong, right? They're pretty strong. So this thing's traveled across Canada all the way to me, okay? And the seller was in Canada. So let's crack this open. Again, my trustworthy <laughs> bloodshot bug scatter. You guys have seen this a few times now. Nice, nice job on the packaging, on the taping anyway. So what I have is, uh, uh, a few comics still left. Um, well, a few comics. There's some comics still left that he hasn't he hasn't shipped, and he basically it's his way of getting me to buy more as well. You know, he's filled up this thing. This is a short box, and uh, there's a few comic books left over. And he mentioned that if he was going to send them all in one package, it was going to cost a lot more. And uh, you know, he was already covering some of the cost of the shipping. Um, and he said if it was okay for him to keep some of the comics and if I was going to buy more, he was going to list some more romance comics, you know, I'd buy more and then he would put another short box together and, uh, and send it my way. Okay. So this is, uh, this might take a while to go through. I just want, right now, all I want to do is, uh, just make sure they're all here. Uh, whatever he sent he said basically the last buy he didn't send and the last buy had uh, he, oh, I don't think that's in here because he said the last buy didn't have this but I, I was able to get my hands on uh, uh, the first printing of crow number two for um, ten dollars ten seventy seven US and I don't think that's here so that was one of the more expensive buys I ended up having he put up the crow first printing number two and we read the crow uh, number one, right? So whenever I can get my hands on the crow, uh, I try to get my hands on the crow, especially at a good price, right? So let me go down, scroll down. And there was some stuff here that he had uh, as buy it now. And eBay is wacko. Um, I couldn't, you know, when I press buy it now, he tried to charge me shipping every time. So there were some books here that I don't know if they sent these ones, but let me pull this out. This is tight. So I just sent them a list of some of the buy it now stuff that I uh, I was looking at. And then all he did was add those uh, to my, uh, to what I've bought and, you know, just charge me the cover, uh, cover price. <laughs> Take a look. 
I'm thinking of the first one I see. Um, David Cassidy, star of the Partridge family, number one, right? They go like, <laughs> followed by, seriously, literally, Obama, inauguration number one, right? So, uh, let me sh let me tell you what I why I'm not paying for these because what we're gonna do is just gonna oh, not finding these gonna be oh there it is okay so let me. Uh, Hopefully there, ah, uh, oh, this looks like it might be sort of in order. I pulled it from the middle, unfortunately. So they might be in uh, packs. And he had to bill me, because I bought this, what I ended up doing is uh, all the stuff was staggered over a month, right? So I bought the romance stuff and, you know, he, I asked him if it was okay holding off, hold, hold off on on paying because there were some other auctions that were coming up there were some horror stuff and he said yeah for sure you know you could keep on buying for like three weeks or four weeks uh so that's what i ended up having that's how i accumulated all these right sort of i guess going to the dollar bins uh multiple times uh and this is if you remember uh, this seller uh the two packages i bought from him before he undergrades the low grades he undergrades uh, I looked at the stuff after I showed you guys uh, we took a look at some of them the previous two that we did from the seller and you know stuff he was marking as two or three or one were more like three and four and five like grading wise comic book grading wise so I thought it was a fantastic deal uh, getting some of the books from him so let me tell you how much uh, what I ended up getting and we'll, I'll try to find out the cost for these as well right and most of these I was bidding against resellers. They were, you know, they were into the hun hundreds, uh, if not thousands, their, their feedback, okay? So David Cassidy, number one, 1972, uh, I paid $3.33 US for this, okay? And he graded this guy at 2.5 or three. I would, uh, just from the cover, Oh, that's definitely on the three side okay so david cassidy number one 1972 let me rearrange this for a second oops no this is what we want this is what we want oh yeah this is what we want and then uh i got obama iraq inauguration um from 2019 number one and he's graded this is 9.9.2 uh, 9 9.2 and I paid 99 cents for this okay. we got X files X files Ashcan edition okay 1995 and Ashcan is something that uh, it was sort of a promo that uh, a lot of comic book companies did in the early 1990s to mid 1990s so they call an ashcan and i paid 230 for this okay. let's see if this one is in this pack come on i might just end up oh there it is cool so let me put these down that way i can hold it up while i'm searching uh this is uh dennis dennis the menace and his pal joey number one from 1961 i paid 225 for this and he graded this thing as 1.5 inside the inside covers are cream color around edges i would rate this more than 1.5 right okay We got Talent Showcase DC 19. Some of these are just buy it now stuff. So let's see if we can. Uh, this was 99 cents. I'm positive. There it is. Yeah, this was 99 cents from 1985, 1995. And he graded eight eight point five. Okay. 
Beautiful cover. There we go. Here's some of the romance stuff. And that's there. I'm trying to find these using the covers. There's this one. Uh, Teen Confessions. Let me show you this guy. Teen Confessions. Number 48 from 19... 68 okay and this thing cost me 99 cents teen confessions which cover is this hot saucy <laughs> this one give it a kiss let's see where is this one is this one no that's that cover This one again, 99 cents. Okay. Uh, and he's rated this, he's graded this thing as 4, 4.5. And from 1969, Teen Confessions, 53 from 1969 for 99 cents. Graded a 4. Perfect. Here's the other one. <laughs> love these. I love these. This is uh, 99 cents, Teen Confessions, number 55 from 1969. And again, 99 cents, right? Uh, graded at 4, 4.5, which is a fantastic deal. Fantastic deal. The romance stuff I got uh, from, uh, I was very happy with as far as the price goes and stuff. Uh, there's one of them actually that cost me way way more than i i was initially expecting but then i looked into it and uh, i found out it's something that people are chasing uh this one i have to do a search find arg So this is ARG number four, and I have I have ARG number one, ARG number one and number two. I don't have number four, so that's one of the reasons I bought this. And this one cost me a dollar, dollar four, US one dollar and four cents, and it's from 1975. ARG number four, okay, and he's graded this thing at four. Again, happy with this. Happy with this. Uh, you know what? We're just gonna do searches instead of me scrolling. Weird, weird worlds. Boop. Where are we? Here we go. Weird worlds number one from 1972. I'm blocking my own screen access from 1972. Uh, again, cost me a dollar four cents, and he's graded this thing as two six inside page a small piece missing from lower right corner half an inch by two inches which is you know I, I looked at some of the previous stuff that this guy had listed he was trying to be very very accurate and after talking with him a lot i like the seller okay so weird worlds number one 1972 for dollar four cents Dark shadows. Oh, I lost my search one. Okay, I gotta can't do that. So dark, dark, oop, shadows, dark shadows. Twenty four, nineteen seventy four. Okay, here's some horror stuff. Dark shadows, twenty four from nineteen seventy four. Cost me dollar ninety nine, and he's got he. He's got it graded at one 1.5 1 minor mo moisture damage on the lower edge of comic um this seller whenever he has any comics that are minor moisture damage <laughs> you can see usually you can see moisture damage with the ripples right <laughs> this one that's the plastic bag on the ripples you can't even see it Right. It could be on the inside, but he's great at this as one. Uh, 
this just from the cover I've gone inside of course but nothing's missing I would grade this as 3 3.5 easy easy right you can actually feel a little bit of moisture damage but you can't see the ripples And keep in mind, all of this is bagged and boarded as well, right? And bagging and boarding. Let's check it out. Oh, there, there's some right there, right? Can you see? Minor moisture damage, but beautiful art. This uh, might be too dark, but I don't know who the artists for these are. Yeah, I would have to look these up to see who the artists are. Usually, uh, a lot of these comics they weren't signed, and as we looked at the uh, we did uh, the previous video comic book video uh, where I gave you my take regarding uh, where I think the industry is going. We found out that for horror comics, DC and this is uh, this is Gold Key, DC Comics started giving credit to their horror writers, uh, writing out their names and stuff after uh, the Comics Code decided to ban, uh, wouldn't allow. Uh, Marv Wolfman uh, name to be in the comic because Wolfism, you know, the comic codes, they didn't allow certain types of words, right? So that's uh, that's insane. Here's another romance. Girl romance. Let me write this in now. Girls. Romance. Oops. Girl. Actually, let's put it in romance, you'll find it better. There's a lot of girl stuff on here. Oops. Where are we? There it is. So this is girls. Beautiful cover, beautiful cover. Girls romance girls romances number 137. Right? This thing cost me 434. So on the higher end, and he's graded this thing as four, four point five. Okay, beautiful cover. Yeah, I was bidding. The person before me that bid on this, he was, you know, he bid twice, I bid twice. Uh, his ranking is three thousand one hundred forty-nine. Right? <laughs> I guess he was chasing this one. Beautiful cover. What happens when a girl falls in love with the wrong? boy right what happens tears are shed right. cool let's see the next one girls love there it is girls love girls love number 147 um, from 1969 this one cost me a dollar nine and it's got it graded as 1.5 okay. no reason just grading at 1.5 a little bit of staining well we'll take a look at these ones later uh, we got a lot of comics to go through <laughs> Heart throbs, beautiful cover. Look at this. I'm losing him because I couldn't be his kind of girl. Look at that. This is uh, heart throbs. Okay. Heart throbs number one twenty four from nineteen seventy, graded at three point three three point five cost a dollar fifty dollar fifty Canadian a dollar oh nine US 
this thing keeps on switching between Canadian and US um, I think one reason is uh, some of these things I bought at dot ca some of them I bought on dot com okay so this one's dollar nine US heart throbs number 121 from 1969 cost 244 US and it's graded at 2 2.5 okay okay if he's more important than I am I'm leaving oh what's the baby oops sorry that was fast crazy <laughs> there's, there's scooter sing with scooter Archie comics this is Archie DC not Archie Archie pretend I guess so this is scooter number 14 from 1968 uh, cost 214 US and it's graded as 3 3.5 slightly off center the comic okay there's two scooter comics that I bought is the other one scooter number three where is scooter number three oh there it is scooter number three and this is from 1966 cost 316 us and is great at this thing at uh, 1.5 1.8 one inch upper spine split He's marking these things down insane yeah the spine split is there I'm not sure if you can see that okay but yeah this is more higher grade than what he's given it but it's good I like it when the sellers uh, are more strict of course right Walt Disney presents Walt Disney presents the happiest millionaires millionaire number one 1968 cost a dollar 71 US and is graded this thing as two 2.5 comic is off center okay. in my book if that's the only flaw that is giving this is more of a four four point five okay. heart throbs look at this one heart throbs number 123 okay from 1970 cost a dollar nine and is graded this thing as four four point five okay. the covers are beautiful for these uh these comics let's go superhero uh, we're gonna do a search I won't find it like this easy adventure comics oh there it was where to go oops no not that one adventure comics number 281 this was Superboy is from 1961 cost 331 a uh, 334 US and he's graded this thing as 1.5 1 1.8 okay and again I was bidding against the same guy uh, <laughs> the reseller with a 3149 ranking okay oops sorry about that um adventure comics 272 279 from 1960 okay and this has got tape on the spine tape on the cover and stuff so 
uh, ended up costing uh, five fifty nine. Uh, Adventure Comics two seventy nine, nineteen sixty, and he's graded this thing as one point five, one point eight. <coughs> and yeah, see the tape here. Take a look. All right, that's tape right there. Good price. <laughs> Same guy. Staining up top. 87th Precinct, number two. Cost 99 cents. And he would have graded this low because it's got staining on it. He's graded at um, 1.5, 1.8. Minor staining on comic. Okay. And it's uh, what is it from? Nineteen sixty-two precinct number 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 two, eighty-seventh precinct. Cool. Fantastic Four number one forty. Nineteen seventy-three. Uh, he's graded this thing as two two point five. Nineteen seventy-three. Uh, 99 cents. I just feel like grabbing it. I don't collect too much Fantastic Four. Ah, this one. This one is expensive one. Let me show you this one. Oh, let me do this. Let me find it before I show it to you guys. Adventure Comics, ready? <laughs> this is by far, this kicked up the price for this shipment. Adventure Comics number 267 is from 1959. He's graded this thing as 2, 2.5. Lower grade is for the one and a quarter inch tear on the lower edge of comics. One and an inch quarter tear on the lower edge of comic. There it is. You could see it in the in the picture. There's a tear up here, right? This thing in my book, I would have graded this a lot higher. Okay. I don't. The edges are nice. Like. this comic is a second appearance i believe so anyway i should be i should do a little check on this before i fully commit to saying this uh let me do a little search uh this comic cost me 57 dollars us okay and it's the second appearance of Legion of Superheroes and I was happy to get this and it was a good price and he was lowballing the grade okay great comic look at that nice I'm gonna put this guy I don't want to bury this guy I want to check check it out right so I'm gonna put it on this side that's definitely we're gonna be checking out by far the most expensive comic <laughs> the rest of them are uh, there's one more that's I think like ten dollars the rest are way below ten most are 99 so let's check out this one uh, yeah. oh, no, that's not gonna work Okay, I'm gonna do a search under this ghost. Yeah, this one. This one is uh, Ghost number thirty-eight uh, from nineteen seventy-five. Cost ninety-nine cents, and it's uh, two two point five. Great, right? Dollar bit buy. Dollar bit buy. this side nice. I 
think I already have uh, one of these. Uh, I think I showed it to you guys actually. Uh, I Spy number one from uh, 1966. Okay. Uh, it cost me 334 and is graded this thing as two. Strange number one seventy three. Is it here or is it there? No, we're going to do a search. Doctor Strange, where are you? Doctor Strange, Doctor Strange number one seventy three from nineteen sixty eight cost three oh two US. And is graded this thing as 2.5. Some old, some new. This one. <laughs> this one's crazy. The cover price of this comic, I know this because I bought it when it came out. And after buying this, when it came out, I didn't realize that was a cover price. I dropped all Marvel, all Marvels from my pull list because I didn't like what they did. This is Deadpool 45. Okay. Uh, this is a variant edition. I don't know if I might, the cover that I have is different. Uh, this is the variant edition. I don't know if it's one out of 10 or it's just, you know, cover B, cover C or whatever it is. It cost me 99 cents. And he's great at this thing as seven seven point five, right? Now, Marvel did this in the last few years. Uh, all of a sudden, when you're pulling a comic, if you're subscribed to a comic, one of the issues ends up costing you ten dollars U.S. Right? That's unacceptable uh, in my book. So after picking this up for ten dollars, I you know I was on my pull list, so I paid for it. Uh, but I told the comic book uh, owners to get remove all Marvels from my pull list. Um, and I know they've done this with Amazing Spider-Man and stuff. I know some people are okay with it. Uh, for me, it was too much. Uh, okay, for me, it's too much. Uh, Walt Disney's Mickey Mouse Club Parade, number one. <laughs> nice. From 1955. He's graded this thing as three, and it cost me six oh five. Fantastic! Very happy with this buy. The two people I was bidding against they were into the thousands for this book. Um, they're ranking not into thousands of dollars. They're ranking right. Uh, the same guy three thousand one hundred forty nine, and the other guy was four thousand six hundred forty five feedbacks right. I'm very happy with this buy the Mickey Mouse stuff and well the Walt Disney stuff and the war stuff and the love comics romance comics uh, very happy with it this is battle battle which one is this one 37 Battle number 37. Where are you? There it is. That's the one. Battle number 37. Okay. Last pre code issue is listed as 1955. Okay. And this thing cost me $8.56. Okay. Last pre code issue. And if uh, you're curious, the last pre code issue is the last comic book from this series, or I guess the last comic book from any series, not the not this this one specifically, but each one, whenever they say the last pre code before the comic code kicked in, where they had the uh, let me see, I can show you here's another one would they put their seal of approval on there, right? And this one doesn't have that 
censorship seal of approval we talked a lot about the censorship uh, in the previous comic book video right uh, so this one uh, last battle number 37 1955 856 one of the more expensive books that I bought but it was well worth it well worth it <coughs> Black Fury. There it is. Black Fury, number three. Okay. Cost a dollar fifty-three U.S. and is graded. This thing is four. And it's from nineteen fifty-five. Right. Beautiful. Nice. I like this one. This is what I really like. I love the cover of this one. Six Gun Western. Check this out. Six Gun Western number two from 1957. And it's got the comic code on there. So I guess this is one or two issues in. And he's graded this thing as five, 5.5. 5. And it cost me $7.59. Beautiful book. six gun western number two i don't have six gun western number one his guns hang low adventures 37 and this is one to buy it now once uh, I bought it for dollar nine uh, US and it caught it's graded at uh, 5.5 5. 6 and it's amazing adventures number 37 dollar um, 76 I was picking up the rest of the books and uh, I just figured I'd grab this one as well okay I like the cover arachnophobia dark shadows let's do search dark shadows let's see we bought the and we bought a handful of dark shadows comics and this one so Dark Shadows number 28, uh, 1974, cost 99 cents, uh, and he graded this thing as two, spine chipping between staples. So seeing the spine is chipping, chipping is like a little bit, it's uh, breaking apart the paper. I guess the acidity is hitting it. The city makes it brown. I'm not sure what makes the, shipping but I guess the city would have a lot to do with it as well right but beautiful intact cover all right nothing missing from the cover I would definitely grade this higher than two right. chamber of chills chamber of chills where are you chamber of chills number 20 from 1976 uh, cost 230 and he's great at this thing is three nice copy wow. yeah I would grade this as four 4.5 easy nice cover look at the cover midnight in the morgue midnight in La 
of comics. Our love story. Yeah, this one. Our love story. The covers for these are insane. Let's see if you can see the writing. Let me try to hold it up so you see the writing on it. Uh, our love story number 38 from 1976 cost a dollar oh nine and these were actually listed at 99 cents but because i bought it on the canadian dot ca it cost me dollar fifty canadian and is converting it to a us so it was 99 cents us and uh, during the conversion is converted to 150 so I don't know if this locks it in. I don't know what the, how their algorithm works. Uh, anyway, but he's great at this at 2.5. Okay. Love story. Our love story, number 38 from 76. Okay. We're finished, Jackie. Our engagement's off. Are those tears for me or for another reason? You will never forget. I loved you once, remember? Tales of romance torn from the pages of real life. <laughs> Just comic book tabloids, sort of. We're going to read one during uh, our fourth reading set. This is a great cover. Love this cover. Beautiful coloring on it. Let's see if we can find it. There it is. Really like this cover hold it here so you see falling in love number 114 from 1970 cost 244 us and is great at this thing as uh, 3.5 cover is detached from lower staple and detachment of i guess from staples kicks it down a notch but i love this cover beautiful cover and what the the logo love that logo girls romances <laughs> this is say here's his money he bet he could he bet he could make her fall for her for his big love act and he wins. Never trust a man. Oh my God. <laughs> Check out the text. Right. So this is, where does it say never trust a man? Oh, right there. The big letters right there. Right. Never trust a man. Give me the full look on this thing. So this is Girls Romances, number 153 from 1970. Uh, cost $1.09 comic is 1.5 1.8 that's what it grades it as I would grade this a lot higher than 1.8 <laughs> this cover check out this one Girl's romances. Girl with a reputation. Tell me what he said. It isn't true, Jill. Oh, she's crying. Jealousy. Girl's romances. Number 146 from 1970. Cost 236. He's graded this thing as 3.5. Falling in love. I love the color work on uh, the falling in love uh, issues that I picked up. Uh, falling in love number 113. Okay, from 1970. Uh, cost 229 and is graded this thing as 3.5. Beautiful covers. I gotta find out the history of this 
please, I love him. Please don't tell him about me. Oh, look at the look on the other girl's face. Eh? <laughs> nice. Should we do one more? Yeah, yeah, let me do this. One more falling in love. Actually, there's a couple more, but this one was right there, so I might as well grab it. Uh, where is this one? There it is. Shy girl. Lots of tears and falling in love. Falling in love, number 111, from 1969, cost 244. Uh, and he graded this thing as four. Okay. We got Hanna Barbera. Where's Waldo? Number one. <laughs> Waddles, not Waldo. Where's Where's Waddles? Where's Waddles? Number one from 1971, cost 244. He's good at this thing as 2.5, 2 2.5. 2 .5. Ah, he's actually has. Uh, he's written some notes here about uh, the shipping to me and stuff like this. I guess he was doing his calculations. I like the seller. Oh, more tears. Girls' romances. There it is. Girls' no romances. Number 145. 1969. Cost 244. And he's graded this thing as 2.5. This one, for some reason. Our love story, number 148. Doormat for love. Check this out. For some reason, there were people bidding on this. He's great at this thing. Uh, so our love story, number... Uh, 148 from 1970 uh, ended up costing me 839 US and he graded this thing as 4.5 4 4.5 okay for some reason I looked into this while I was bidding on it I was watching the bids go up um, I found out there's people you know are chasing this to a certain degree it doesn't come around uh, it doesn't come up for auction too often and the person that I beat this uh, person betting, bidding against me his feedback is 7065 so he wanted it I'm glad I got it I won out that one actually I wanted all the romance comics Secret Hearts crazy covers who was the guy that got you into this mess why won't you tell us who he is Linda love is love is not a happy thing don't miss love is not a happy thing in the bottom here is red okay so this one is secret hearts number 148 from 1970 cost a dollar oh nine and he's graded this thing as 5.5 goodbye girls romances he's gonna grade this one really low where is it where is it oh this is one to buy it now so i know that for sure i think so anyway oh yeah he sent me this one because he forgot to remove it it was a dollar uh, it's 99 or dollar or nine uh it's this one girls no romances number 159 it was graded at 2 uh 1.52 because there's staining here 
and uh, someone else had you know I you know I sent him a list of buy it now I said okay can you throw this in my comics as well and he said sure but by the time he was going to take it off someone had bought bought it used by it now but he said he would just send it to me and he would contact them and said someone else grabbed it okay so glad I got this one that kind of girl stack these a little bit less high on top of each other Secret Hearts number 139 uh, from 1969 cost $1.09 or 99 cents when I paid for it um, he's great at this thing as three okay. looking through the legs of his girlfriend while he's cheating on her isn't this cozy my man and my best friend Modeling with mm, Millie. Modeling with Millie, number 43. Uh, modeling with Millie, number 43 from 1965, costs $1.71. And he's great at this thing, 1.5, 1.8. And this one yeah I would grade it grade it at two so this one would agree on just from the cover it's a little worn and stuff secret hearts great kiss look at this is he acting when he's with her what is he acting when he was with her or with me more tears lots of tears so this is uh, secret hearts number 143 1970 cost a dollar 09 graded at four <laughs> this is how <almost> drawn <laughs> I love it I'll show you this. <laughs> What's this one? Uh, da, 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 da. See if you can find it. No, I gotta do a search. It's hard finding these. No, okay. What's this one called? Falling in love. Falling in love. There's a few falling in love. So that's the cover. I wonder if this is one to buy it now. No, there it is. Falling in Love, number 104. Right? Number 104 from 1969. Cost 229. And is graded at uh, 2.5. <laughs> again, I was bidding against the resellers. And he's got written here, red pen marks, just on front cover. Now take a look at this. <laughs> this girl, this girl was not crying, wasn't drawn and crying. And someone pen marked like tears. 
coming down. <laughs> and he put a red mark on her nose. Her nose is red. And they put a red mark on the, on the, the guy's eye. <laughs> Staying true to the, to the rest of the love comics, romance comics with girls crying, I guess. Falling in love. Jim, darling, when are you going to tell Noelle about us? Oh, they're sitting in a booth. She's drinking her soda or whatever it is, her shake. Right. Falling in love, another one. Falling in love, number 34. There's a lot of falling in loves here. Let's see. Might be easier looking for the cover of this. There it is. So this one is number um, falling in love number 84 from 1966. Cost $1.71 and is graded this thing as two. Secret Hearts, number 144, from 1970, dollar or nine, graded at two. Okay. Time for Love, number 14. For love, number fourteen, from nineteen seventy, cost me ninety nine cents and is graded. This thing is four point five. <coughs> I saw this one. We'll look it up though. Beyond the grave. Number six, 1976, cost 380, and is graded this thing at uh, 3.5. I'm not sure why this one costs so much. Again, um, almost all of these I was bidding against resellers. So uh, initially, my max bid for this was like 243, and then I kicked it up. I looked into it. Just going at a higher price, so I kicked up my price a little bit. Oh, I should tell you what the grade on this was. What was the grade on this? I think I told you, maybe 3.5. This is more than 3.5. Yeah. Nice. War Comics. gonna GI war there it is GI war number three okay from 1973 uh, cost a dollar oh nine which is base 99 cents. I should say 99 cents but because Canadian dollars has dropped now it's equivalent to dollar oh nine uh, so dollar oh nine um, it graded at four Even put one into the side. Look at this. Which one is that one? Oh yeah, nice. Put the magazine sideways. Okay. 
Okay, let's look at the rest of this. Uh, All Star. Oh, this must be one of the buy it nows. There we go. All Star number uh, 60. All Star Comics number 60 from 1976. And he's graded this thing as two. And it cost me a dollar oh nine. Okay. Which is graded at two. Sure, graded at two. Two point five two. Just the Society of America. Then we got Captain Savage number eighteen. Uh, cost me dollar oh nine US and is graded the same as three. This one. Uh, nope, it's not there. It must be here. Maybe. So maybe we search under this classic illustrated where are you there it is classic illustrated number 162 from 1961 and it's the original and this one cost a dollar 84 and is graded this thing at two Blue Beetle number two, and this was going to be low grade. According to his grading, this would be like a one, <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, Blue Beetle number two, 1967, costs $1.75, and he's graded this as 1.5. Heavy spine wear, yeah, and there's spine wear and tear, right? So $1.75 for Blue Beetle number two from 1967. the the witching hour like the cover oops witching let's see if we can find this the witching hour number 42 nice cover oh there it is witching hour number 42 uh, cost 99 cents and uh, he graded this thing as one 1.5 uh, the kicker is he didn't even have the picture of the front cover on there he only had the picture of the back cover uh, and the back cover was where the moisture damage is you could see it so this thing uh, a little bit of scuffing a little bit of moisture damage here yeah He's knocking off a lot for moisture damage. Nice. Disney, Disneyland. Where is it? Disneyland. Walt Disney's Disneyland number 30. Oh, there it is. Walt Disney Disneyland USA number 30. From 1960. Okay. Uh, cost 234. And he's graded this thing as 1, 1. 1.5. 5 inch upper spl spine split. Yeah, so this part is split, right? Good 
price. This is only just a random buy. I'm pretty sure this is buy it now. Uh, maybe. Maybe not. Let's do a search. Stalker. Stalker number two from 1975. Uh, cost 247 and is graded. This thing is eight. nice copy yeah and his high grades the upper grades he's accurate he doesn't really highball unless he's going like 9.6 and he lists things as 10 <laughs> which they aren't right uh, check out this one i bought some magazines i had to get it they were horror masters of terror Masters of Terror, number one, magazine formats. Check this out. Masters of Terror, number one, from 1975. Cost me 635, and is graded this thing as 8.5. Okay. I actually went and bought a magazine box. I have some magazines in the past uh, that. I figure I better start storing nicer, not just comic book magazine, but other magazines. Okay. Terror is a master number one. So let's put this one up here. We'll balance it there. I know where it is. That way we sort it out. Nice. I bought some Walt Disney stuff. Uh, I think we've looked at a couple of them, but let's take a look at these others. I like the I like the Walt Disney stuff I don't really do Walt Disney now but in the past uh, it's trippy some of the stuff you can find some of the stuff you can find um, even though they should be in the public domain they're not uh, and anyone that prints them <laughs> shares them uh, Walt Disney's lawyers come after them not just because of copyright claims but because that's not the image that Walt Disney wanted to portray um especially during well the earlier times with the way they treated uh portrayed blacks and latinos and walt disney's christmas parade number 26 cost 284 and he's graded this thing as 2.5 okay stumbo and all the gang christmas time like this would be a fantastic gift to someone. This. Walt Disney's. Walt Disney's Disneyland birthday party number one. Uh, from 1958, cost me 214 US. And he's graded this thing as one 1.5 1 but uh just from the cover i would grade this thing higher i would grade it 2.5 there's no chunks missing it's rough but there's no chunks missing and they're large like look at the thickness of these things right compare that to thickness of a comic right <laughs> Uh, this one I'm happy to get. I like this one. I love this stuff. Uh, I've bought some. Of them. I've, I've slowly been accumulating these. Uh, Vault of uh, just horror books and stuff. Vault of Evil. Come on, where are you? There you go. Vault of e Vault of Evil number six. Monsters from 1973 uh, cost me 225 and he's graded this thing at 4.5 nice cover clean cover very clean 
I give a slight. At least the grade higher, 5.5. The thing at the window. <laughs> the thing at the window. Witching hour. Witching hour number 73. Cost dollar seventy eight. Graded this thing is four point five, and it's from nineteen seventy seven. Okay. Nice, fly man. Fly man number thirty one. Uh, cost me 99 cents and it's graded at uh, 1.8 1.5 1.8 heavy spine wear and tear yeah heavy spine wear and tear check this out I would still give it a 2.5 <laughs> there's wear and tear here to me a 2 is I have some I have a lot of two comics I don't I don't mind them but they should have more wear and tear than that DC superstars hmm, I wonder if this is a buy it now when I did I don't think so pretty sure it was bidding on this oh no there it is DC Superstar number eight. I got this as a buy it now uh, for dollar nine. Uh, this is uh, DC Superstars number eight from 1976. Cost me a dollar oh nine, and it's graded at four point five. All right. Oh, it's Ernie Chen nice Ernie Chan is the guy from uh, the cover is Ernie Chan you can see this signature here oops where is it right there I don't know if you can see it you, no you won't be able to see it it's too dark maybe um and it's too small um but he's the artist uh for Conan the Barbarian uh Savage Sword of Conan he did a lot of work on Savage Sword of Conan I love his art in Savage Sword of Conan Adam Strange and a dynamic other world adventure surfing wheels I think this is a buy it now one too yep surfing wheels number four okay uh, dollar or nine it's great at this thing's 2.5 and it's from 1970 This cracks me up. I love the obscure, weird superhero stuff that came out from different publishers, from a lot of indies and stuff. E Man, number one. Just grabbed it. Paid fair price for these. Dollar oh nine. He's graded this thing as two, 2.5. Uh, it'd be a higher grade. yeah definitely higher grade there's like a four i haven't opened up the book yet but just from the looks of it let's check out some of these woody woodpecker nice 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 i like woody i love the laugh Oops, really let's spell it right. Woody Woodpecker's County Fair number two from nineteen fifty eight. Okay. And this cost me two oh three US and is graded this thing as two point five. Small tear and lower spine. Nice. 
nice copy. Sleeping Beauty. Nice. Is it up here? No, we'll do it. Sleeping Beauty number one. Walt Disney Sleeping Beauty number one from 1959 cost 514 and he's graded this thing's 2.5. Okay. Nice thick book. Jungle War Stories. Jungle War Stories number two from 1963. Uh, costs $3.04 and is graded this thing as 5.5. It's a nice copy uh, from 1963. <laughs> we read this one National Velvets. I think it was this one we wrote. I think this is the first. Is this the first one? No, I can't remember. Uh, I think we read this one. Four color, uh, 1,195 National Velvet. Uh, cost me 310 and it's graded at, uh, not at, at a three. First, is, first inside page is tape on upper, upper edge, which is okay to me. Right. National Velvets. Marbles Collectors. Marble. Marbles Collectors. Item Classics number twelve. Okay. Uh, cost two forty seven. It is graded. This thing is five. Okay. And it's from nineteen sixty seven. And this is a reprint of. I believe these are compilation of reprints. So much writing on here. I don't know what's what issues they're reprinting though. I think this was a buy it now. Let's check it out. Maybe not. Haunted. Haunted number 12 from 1973 cost 99 cents. Okay. Graded at three. The egg. Sometimes little Harry finds strange things. Sometimes they find them. <laughs> I got it low. Also, ten cents. Sometimes they find him. Stay away from little Harry. He's got bad luck. Binky. Binky number uh, sixty-seven. Now this was definitely like a one, one point five. He would have graded for sure. I would have graded too. Uh, Binky number 67 from 1969 cost me 99 cents. He's graded a 1, 1.5. Okay, scruffed up the cover. Still, no chunks missing. Like, still intact. Like, there's no chunks missing whatsoever. Right. Let's put some of these back in the box. 
since the box is getting empty. So they're not stacked up so high. Need more damage. Because some of these were mid grade to higher grade, I guess. Very few though. Pretty sure this was by it now. Midnight Tales. Midnight Tales. What was it? Maybe not. Midnight Tales. Mid. Mid. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it was buy it now. Buy it now, dollar oh nine or ninety nine cents. Uh, graded four. I like this cover. And it's from nineteen seventy three. Midnight Tales number four. Eerie cover. Oh, you must misunderstood me. I didn't say this was the L train. A one-way trip to ghostly enchantment featuring the midnight philosopher and Ar Arcane in once upon a time cool <laughs> I had to get this I had to get this I had to get this oh no I closed that I didn't want to close that one let's see Okay, let's do a find. Find. Zombies. <laughs> I don't know why I got it, but I got it. Zombies versus cheerleaders. Um, one of the reasons I got it is because uh, Five Infinity, Seven Infinity, Five Infinity Productions, because they're in the, they were independent publisher, and I see some of their stuff around. Check out the cover. Zombies, zombies versus cheerleaders. From uh, so this is zombies versus cheerleaders Halloween special uh, from 2015, right? Bought it for 99 cents. Uh, it's graded at 9.810, which it's it's not a 10, right? Nothing is a 10. Well, they say certain things are tens, but nothing is a 10. Uh, beware 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 there it is beware number six from 1974 cost 99 cents graded at three nice cover nice horror cover might do something with all of these during Halloween this one's rough I think this was by now maybe maybe not captain oops there it is strange suspense stories number 77 okay captain adam from 1965 uh cost dollar 35 us and is graded this thing is one 1. 1.5 and it is scruffed up yeah i would grade this thing as two again i would grade a two 2.5 because there's no chunks missing it's just scruffed up a lot Avengers number 10. Oh, these are all by it now. Avengers number 10 from 2016. All right. Uh, 99 cents. He's graded this thing as 9.6, 9.8. And these are $4 books. 
right just off the rack so I you know like I said I dropped Marvel I think they did it uh, I'm not sure when that Deadpool came out that was in 2016 2015 2016 probably it looks like it's Mark Waite with the story so Avengers number 10 for 99 cents Avengers number six and again this one Deadpool on the cover Avengers number six 2016 for 99 cents and it's graded this thing is 9.6 9.8 stuff uh, haunted library number 29 dark cover maybe this will come out if I bring it close uh, number 29 from 1976 99 cents and he's great at this thing 3.5 Invaders. Oops. Invaders number twenty from nineteen seventy-seven. Uh, Ninety-nine cents or dollar nine. Uh, two uh, graded at two point five. Okay. Dollar oh nine. Invaders number nine. From 1976, cost $1.09, graded at four. Nice. This one I was happy to get. Like the cover. I really like these old school covers. Um, let me find it for you. Beanie. Hey. Beanie. Not there. I must have buy it now. Really? Oh, he's listed this thing as something else. I got a zone. Beanie and Sissel. I don't know if I'll be able to find it. The search was not picking it up. Let me make sure I got the spelling right. Oh, well, maybe. There it is. Beanie and Sissel. Uh, from number uh, from 1962. Okay, cost 99 cents. And he's graded this thing. Ah, oh, he's graded this thing zero to point five. Centerfold is missing cutting into one storyline so I gotta make a little note of this um, I'm gonna write it at the back here sorry that way I know okay centerfold missing missing cutting into one story line and I looked this one up. Uh, if it's in good shape, uh, it's going. Uh, it's expensive. Uh, even if it's complete, it's expensive. But this one for 99 cents, well worth it. I like the cover. Maybe I frame the cover, right? As long as I got the note in the back, right? I know what it is. Midnight Tales. one I think was about it now as well there it is midnight tales number seven for dollar oh nine okay and he's graded this thing as uh, 4.5 and it's from 1974 love this cover very happy about this one uh, weird mystery tales it's a crazy cover weird mystery tales take a look at i'll bring it close up so you see it 
Weird Mystery Tales number 22 from 1975, 99 cents, and is graded this thing as a four. Okay. I think that's insane cover. Oh, we're getting towards the end. Fight. Fight the enemy, number three, from 1967. The enemy number three from 1967 cost 249 40 254 us and he's graded this thing as a three a lot of the stuff uh from the previous comics where uh, jay or josh was asking me about uh propaganda in comics uh, war comics are huge, huge, huge. All right. Uh, Amazing Adventures number 12 from 1972. This costs $2.04. And he's graded this thing as two. Small piece is missing from front cover, lower right. So he's graded this thing as a two. I mean, this is Beast, one of the first early issues of Beast, Harry Beast. And there's a chunk missing here. Right, I looked at this one, I was bidding on it. The rest of the cover looks beautiful. Really, if that chunk wasn't missing there, this would be you know at least a five, 5.5. 5. But it's graded at two, small piece missing. This one, I don't know if it was by it now. I think so let's see fighting forces fighting forces number 96 from 1965 cost me a dollar 59 and he's graded this thing as two okay. he's on fire running down <laughs> the cat the cat number three from 1967 uh, it cost me 99 cents and he's graded this thing as 2.5 I would grade this thing a lot higher than 2.5 well, I don't know a lot higher but higher I give this thing a 4 Marines in action. Marines in action. Marines in action number 13. Check this out. Marines in action number 13 from 1957. Cost 324 and is graded this thing as 1, 1.5. And it cost, uh, what did it cost? 324. Yeah, I would give this one uh, a two. 1.52, there's chipping on the cover. Yeah, I agree with this one reading. The comic is complete though. Battle, another battle comic. Battle number 22, 1953. And these are pre-code so these are sweet so this is battle number 22 from 1953 it cost me 8.79 and is graded this thing as 1.5 1.8 thread through spine So there's a thread through the spine. I'm going to check this one out. Nice cover. Here, chew on this. 
for a while, you scummies. Let's put this one here and check it. This one. <laughs> this one cost a fair bit. I wasn't expecting this to cost this much. Uh, I looked into it though. People were... I guess it's sought after. And people I was bidding against they're into the thousands one person kicked it up a fair bit but this is Roger Dodger number five okay cost $27.99 I couldn't find this on eBay any other price I saw one that sold that was way worse condition than this and this is he's again because this has got moisture damage he's great at this thing as 0.5 to 1 but you know i don't know if grading moisture damage kicks it down that much not on this level uh, this thing costs 27.99 roger dodger number five from 1952. okay i'll check this one out let's put this one on the side too so that was the second most expensive book Battle number five from 1951. This thing cost me 1315 US, and he's graded this thing as one, 1 1.5. This was the third most expensive book in the world. Yeah, I would grade this as a two, but beautiful cover. The Death Trap of General Wu. I don't know who the artist is for this. I would have to look these up. I think this is a buy it now, uh, this one. Uh, just because Miss Fury, number one from 1991. Uh, it's limited edition numbered. Um, it cost me a dollar or nine is great at this in six six point five you can find this it's cheap I pay a fair price for it maybe a little bit less but I just numbered here right. two thousand three hundred seven at the time let's check this out from 1991 Canadian price on this was six dollars five ninety nine US price on this was 495 now that is expensive from adventure comics right put inflation on top of that and adjust it for devaluing our fiat currency i mean that's a lot right superman 248 from 1972 uh, cost me $1.09 and he's graded this thing as two fair value okay we're down to the last handful of bucks that's it right let's check this out space family Robinson Space Family Robinson number 14 from 1965 cost me 99 cents he's graded this thing as 1.5 minor motion moisture divers to upper edge nice intact cover yeah moisture damage up here there's moisture damage take it down to a 1.5 don't know this one I paid way too much for 
way too much for I don't know why I paid this much for it it was silly yeah very silly but it is what we do when we get trigger happy uh, this is X-Men number 46 okay and uh, it's from 1968 I paid six dollars for this and the reason is too much it wouldn't be too much if it was complete but it's not complete uh, third inside page is missing affecting storyline so he's great at this thing as 0 0.5 uh, 0 and 0 0.5 to 0 0.5 and it's true it's missing so I need to you know incomplete he's got incomplete written at the back here too but I'm gonna write this down third inside page third inside page missing affecting story okay. um, I think when I was bidding I put a maximum bid at first and usually I don't go back I do go back adjust it a little bit but um, I forgot to check the description again that it was missing so we paid a lot for this one Hot Rod Racer. Is it here? Easy peasy. Nope. We do a search. Hot Rod Racer. Where are you? Hot Rod Racer number five from 1965. Okay. Uh, ended up costing 575. And he's great at this thing as 2.5. Inside cover covers are cream color around edges. Okay. So that's what you see here. And then this sort of leads into um, the breakup of the paper. Okay. Nice cover otherwise. No chunks missing. Who was I bidding us on this one? Yeah. 4,600. You got hot rods. Oh, we're going to do a search on this one too. Hot rod 61 from 1963. Okay. Ended up costing 555 and he's graded this thing is 2.5 inside covers are cream color around that just it's a nice cover this is more than 2.5 nice nice cover it's just the darkening of pages has kicked it down as far as grade goes but i would definitely rate it as more than 2.5 this is more like a 4.5 to me uh, staining down here kick it down to a four three point five four secret agents is it by it now where did I see this one no that's over here secrets Secret Agent number 10 from 1967 okay. cost 386 and he's graded this thing is 4.5 that would get this thing higher Nice cover. This <laughs> is wide now. Is it must be? Maybe I just it would have been nice nice sent this one for sure. I think so. Superman. Oops. Superman. 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 
Superman. Oh, it was 230. Kick this up. Superman number 327, right? From 1976. Uh, ended up costing me 230. And he's graded this thing as a six. Uh, a reseller kicking it out. I think I would have liked to have gotten this in 99 cents. But 230 it is. Oops, run buddy run. Run buddy run number one from uh, 1967 cost 380 and is graded this thing a 6.5 okay. and the last book the last book t-man number 36 from 1956 and it cost four dollars and thirty-four cents. And he's graded this thing as one one point five, staining to front and back cover, but inside is very nice. Good to know. Okay. So golden age book. Well, almost a golden age book. We end but still has the comic. It's one of the er early issues I put out the comic code, right? The seal the seal of approval, the censorship. Uh, so that was a uh, serious haul. I still have a handful of books. Well, <laughs> about half as much of books there that he's going to ship out to me. I'm gonna. He said he was going to put on some more uh, romance comics that I'd like to bid on, and those most of those are going to go for ninety nine cents or dollar fifty or something like this or two bucks max. Um, and with this buy and whatever's coming uh, from the guy after this. I've pretty much maxed out my uh, comic book budget for a few months, guaranteed, right? And I'm going to have to cut back on my pull list a little bit of the, on the weeklies and the monthlies, basically. Um, but I liked it. And I really, uh, one of the things I, I ended up doing this or justified this by as well, is I wanted to talk about diving into the dollar bins, right? Um, because you could get some amazing, amazing comics uh, in the dollar bins. So go ahead and up and if the comic book stores um, they regularly refill that stuff the dollar bins and sometimes they throw in goodies and stuff like this so i've picked up some number ones i picked up a lot of valiance from the dollar bins when no one was chasing the valiance or people weren't chasing the valiance or certain people were chasing the valiance uh, and if you're lucky to live in an area where nobody's chasing valiance then it's all for you i guess right and we put out a video of that where i bought a whole bunch of valiance stacked together um, and that was a lot of fun grabbing those, right? That filled up a lot of gaps, I'm assuming, or started a lot of series. Uh, and that's how I feel about these types of buys. It's just randoms. And every now and then I go through a book, pull one out and read. And sometimes when I have friends, like, you know, if they want to read something, I, I show them some stuff and put some of the books out for reading copies or whatnot, right? Um, but it was fun. And I definitely, definitely... Uh, I uh, love the Adventure Comics 267. This is definitely cream of the crop, right? Second appearance of Legion of Superheroes and a beautiful cover of that. Uh, this was a very good buy, uh, but it did kick up the price, okay? So officially, uh, we're not going to do a comic book haul video uh, for a while. Uh, and that's a good thing. We've got a lot of readings to do for set number set number four and a lot of ASMR math, math stuff related that we need to get done, right? I uh, thought I'd share this with you. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, that's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next video.